What's up guys and happy Tuesday. It's a nice beautiful day outside. We'll get to the title of the video here in a couple minutes, but welcome back to What's Wrong with Andy's 240 Today. Yeah, it seems like we're always running into problems. Um, I never really had this many issues with it last year, but I've had quite the amount of upgrades I did um, this over the winter. And that's good because it sounds like in August of this month, or August of this month, this August we're going to start drifting at RPM again. Thank the Holy Ghost, I'm ready to go skid racing. But, SR20, good. 20 some year old chassis, issues. Now, I don't know if you guys remember, but a few videos ago at the RPM show, um, I was kind of talking about how it felt like the uh, brakes were the rear brakes were holding up a little bit so I did some investigating I did some looking I did some bleeding um, and I found the issue so it's kind of a how-to video too in case you want to increase or decrease the pedal feel or raise or lower the height of your pedal your brake pedal so let's go on and I'll show you what happened yeah, it's going to be really hard to see, but under the brake pedal here, um, up top, back in here, you'll see where the switch is there. Um, no, maybe I can see it over here. Not really. But there's a booster rod that goes to the brake booster. Um, what happened was that jam nut, there's a jam nut that holds it, and it actually got loose. So, when I was pressing the pedal, the, uh, booster rod would actually go clockwise, which would pull the pedal out, but it was already up against the backing. So, it ended up tightening and tightening every time on the brake booster, so it was actually adding brake pressure to the rear lines so in case you any of you guys are wondering to raise the pedal height or add pressure you'll loosen that jam nut which is a 14 millimeter and then you'll turn the rod clockwise to raise it and clockwise also tightens pressure or counterclockwise to bring the pedal down and loosen pressure so I loosen it up uh, about a turn and a half and I don't seem to be having any more brake trouble so luckily hopefully that's fixed and we don't have that issue golly just an ugly man without my hat ain't I Shit. <clears throat> but hopefully we don't have any more issues and run into any more issues with that <clears throat> but the hydro still feels tight uh, so good to go on that I'm thinking about pulling all the carpet and everything out of here. Let me know what you guys think of that. I kind of like the carpet. I kind of like the streetcar feel. Um, I'm also going to be getting some Ganadors to do some, some, I guess, what would you call them? Fanadors? Big Ganadors? You want GK Tech cells? GK Tech, hopefully you can pull through on that like you did not do on Jake's Roll Center Correction Kit. <laughs> but... Anyways, let's get into real short. I'm going to try to keep it short um, about what I think of uh, Damian Monty going off on Tommy, what I think it's all about, and how stupid I think it is. Alright guys, here is how I feel about the whole Damian and Tommy FU thing. I think it's BS. I think it's dumb. There is no beef between Tommy and Damien. If there was, Tommy would squash that guy in a second. I'm not... His videos, for me, they're just not for me. Not a huge fan of it. Um, he, Everybody else from Haggard seemed to have progressed, I guess, the guys that I watch. Um, and I... I I see a try hard with him. I mean, commend him on his efforts. That's awesome. Um, Tommy made great points, and they make a whole lot of sense. He uses his old lady as 
clickbait and when it works it works I guess um, a lot of people are gonna throw on the Adam LZ train but let's be honest a lot of you guys a lot of anybody watched Adam's videos because of Nicole am I wrong but Tommy and Damien have no beef none whatsoever um, I think Damien did it as a ploy uh, he saw the views and watch time maybe that Chris was getting with the whole uh, I guess fight between them or beef between them and I think he wanted in on some of the action so I I sincerely think it was just a ploy from Damien to get that to get what he wanted out of that um, he kind of fumbles around a whole lot in that um, video he posted and a lot of times he's like Tommy in his videos keeps doing this Tommy in his videos keeps doing that and then he would say people would send me screenshots I don't know how you sent I really don't unless you guys know let me know uh, I guess screenshots of what he's saying I didn't see any I heard there are some you know some digs at Damien but they're truth I mean you can't you can't get mad at a truth so I mean I heard I mean I heard the clickbait comment from Tommy and I knew exactly what he was talking about I knew exactly who he was talking about and I knew you know what he was getting at so with that whole beef I'm ha I really hope Tommy doesn't say anything about it because that's exactly what Damien wants out of it um, I didn't really want to do it but one of two things um, I wanted to do it because I wanted to get in front of it you know before before Tommy's ordeal I guess if Tommy says something I hope he doesn't I really hope you don't so you know Tommy don't don't do it because that's all Damien wants that's all he wants is the views and everything he wants the views he wants to watch times so he's hoping for new subs because he wants the beef because the beef's gonna bring views subs you guys love drama <laughs> and drama gets views drama gets subs uh, drama brings in revenue so I mean the drama's always the drama's never gonna stop there's always gonna be drama the only bad part is when you want drama when you bring drama on for those views you know what I'm saying and that's what Damien's doing so going back on the um, Papa Tommy you know um, and Rudnick I'm super happy it seems like that's starting to wash away um, you know those are two channels I watch a lot and I'm happy that that seems to be working out some I mean Tommy still gets his digs in and Rightfully so, I get that. I think Chris starting to realize now who the real issue was. Because he seems to be missing from his videos a lot recently. So, that's where I stand on that. So, anyways, let's get back to the 240. Let's get looking at some stuff. So, something negative. Um, a lot of this car was done when I bought it. Um, not everything. Um, but there was some stuff done on it when I purchased it. Uh, for one, these electric fans were in. These are Flexalite fans. They're really nice. I like them a lot. They keep the car cool. But something I thought was really dumb. The relays are run here and run through. Now I had a few times where I would come off track and I'd see smoke coming out my vent. They use speaker wire to go from here to here that's not never slow never slow didn't do that the guy who got this car from never slow uh, originally who had it built for him did that and I thought that was stupid I ended up replacing it all with better wire thicker wire um, also just so you guys know that when we put that bolt in here that did help a whole lot um, now on initial startup at high idle, I'm actually running about 23, 24 uh, pounds of vacuum. And at low idle, I run 20 to 21. So that is minty on the money. And I am super happy about it.
So, but, I mean, not a whole lot today. I just wanted to tell you about that brake pedal. God, that sucks. That's such a dumb way to cause an issue. So all you guys, check that. Put that on your bolt checklist, that jam nut. That shouldn't be an issue, but for some reason it was, and I really didn't want it to be. I'm happy I found it, though. I'm happy I didn't keep driving on it and burn this thing up. That would have really sucked. Um, still haven't, update, still haven't heard anything from GK Tech on Jake's Rural Center Correction, which is we're going on a week now without them responding back, which is ridiculous. That is awful customer service. The dude paid his money. He paid for his parts. He wants his parts. He got his parts. They were effed up. And they don't... The customer service is just awful right now. I mean, I don't know if you guys experience any better customer service, but, you know, we have nothing. And, I mean, it's not happy about it. I'm rambling. You guys may or may not still be here. If you are, I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Uh, you're helping my stuff come true. I really want to, you know, give you guys good content, you know, not a full-blown whole bunch of money. Let's do a whole bunch of unreasonable stuff every day uh, that the every average guy can't. You know, this is kind of a channel I kind of want it to be normal. I want you guys to relate. So, till next time, like, comment, subscribe. Damien, there is no beef with Tommy. Keep on sliding, everybody.